What's up guys? Back again today. It's another beautiful morning. Not quite as nice as yesterday morning, but still pretty nice day. Once again, it's not very windy out. It's a little bit cooler. Got a train in the background making some noise for me while I record this. But today's agenda is, is we're going to head back out to the Studebaker cleanup. Uh, first though, we've got to unload that trailer. Sean's on his way now. He had to stop and get a bo bottle of oxygen. He's from out of town. And uh, they didn't open until 8, so he's just now leaving where he's from. So he'll be here in probably 30 minutes or so. I've got a few cars out back left over from yesterday when I was here working. So I'm going to go ahead and take those and stack them up. And then we're going to get this un unloaded and then hit the road. This is that barrel. It's clear full of brass padlocks and keys and other cool stuff. If you didn't watch my previous vlog, you'll have to go check it out if you want to see what all is in there. But I can't find any of my chains. They're all at the other yard. So I'm just going to try to balance it on the fork and drive really, really slow all the way to the building. This is going to be a long drive. But i got to wait for Sean to get here anyway, so I guess it gives me something to do. <laughs> As if I needed something else to do. We are unloaded and ready to go. Got a pretty good collection of stuff here. I really like the blue nose and the brown nose. Those are both pretty cool. The white one's pretty neat too, especially once we put some headlights in it. That'll look pretty good. These here are neat. They're not my favorite, but they are neat and somebody will buy them. And then the cab backs, of course. These are all ones that we weren't originally going to save, but figured we already had a couple off and they aren't that hard to pull. Might as well go ahead and pull them all. State Fair is in town. It starts tomorrow and it runs all the next week. And so there are DOTs and sheriffs and you name it crawling all over the woodwork out here right now. So I made sure everything's legal on my trailer. I'm not doing any sketchy loads right now or nothing because there are just there are people that will give you a really bad day everywhere here right now. All the campers are arriving. It's a busy place this time of year. We made it. Didn't get pulled over. No issues, so that's all good. Like I say, everything's legal on our trucks and trailers, so I don't think we'll have an issue with that anyway. But we're going to go ahead and stack the last of these cars that are ready on this side up over here now that it's dried out a little bit. I can smooth these ruts out a little bit. I'll do a better job once we're completely done. And then we're going to start grabbing cars from the other side of the tracks. It's still a little bit soft over here in the shade where we do all our torching, so I don't think we're going to be able to pull the truck down here. So we're going to make a spot over there and put it over there instead. So I just took this one out of there. I'm going to go put it on my trailer since we're taking it home. This is one that was marked to smash, but we decided we're going to go ahead and keep it for the driver's side. We are officially started on this side of the tracks. Coming in here back here now. I already grabbed that little Rambler wagon out and moved it. We're going to start grabbing some of these. Some of these we're going to keep. Some of them I haven't decided yet. Most of them we're going to get the crunch. A lot of these cars have uh, good core bumpers on them. That'll work good for the core buyer. Those are the type of bumpers he's actually looking for. The ones with the big guards on them and stuff like that. The big round ones. So they're easy to cut. Just two little brackets and they fall right off. So we're going to save all those. And there's a bunch of stuff laying inside the car as well. So I'll set it down after that and they can clean it out. And then I'm just going to go ahead and finish gathering these last few cars up. A couple of these have bumpers on them we're going to pull off. And then I can stack all those up and I can start stacking more junkers over here. Just like that. Studebaker trailer hitch. It actually bolts right on.
record again. That area over there is pretty well full, so I'm going to start stacking them over here on this side now. Those are both pretty rare cars over there. Old Starlight Coupe and a two-door hardtop. But they're both just stripped out to nothing, hardly. So there's really nothing good left on either of those. There's actually several of those Starlight Coupes back there. There's a bunch of four-doors and a bunch of regular coupes, too. But there's a few of the couple of the four doors I want to take home. I think there's three of them I'm going to take home just to slice the sides off of. But all of the two doors are missing a ton of parts. See, this is just a regular two door here. How it doesn't have the wrap around back window. Well, that other one had the window that wrapped all the way around. Those are really cool. And those roofs are worth a lot of money on those wrap around ones if they're not cut up. All the ones out here have had pieces cut out of them. But there's another two door hardtop under the trees over there. Several four doors in here. There's an old Studebaker. That's probably the oldest one on the place right there. The black one here, I'm probably going to take it home so I can slice the driver's side off of it. noises in the evenings a lot of times it's these guys right here cicadas this reminds me of when I was a kid we crushed old cars like this all the time my dad would set the car over by a pile of junk and that was my job when I was little couldn't do anything else just to pick up all the junk and throw it in the car we're getting all this junk picked up back here throwing it in these cars I'll probably hang on to the black one the driver's side I want to cut it off there's that old one I was telling you about. Probably the oldest one on the place. Not much left of it though. I do want to save that Studebaker badge off of it. I mean, it's too bad this isn't in better condition. That would be a really valuable piece if it was. It's got some window rings in the back of it. We'll save those for art. But other than that, there ain't much left of this one. That car just looks so cool sitting back here in the trees. It would be a shame once it's gone, but what do you do? Someone's going to buy them. Might as well be us. Check out that crusher pile. You'll probably never see another crusher pile like that again. You got that old Studebaker there. The old coupe. Hard top. There's just not enough left of them to justify the drive to take them home. But we are pulling quite a few parts off of them. You got a big pile of bumpers. A few trunk lids. All those barrels up there on top of them, we just have all sorts of neat trinkets that we've pulled off of these cars. All those valve covers. This car here still has a carburetor, air breather, valve covers, a bunch of parts left on the engine of it. So we're going to pull all that off. So we're getting quite a few goodies out of them yet. Those are my keepers right there. Not much left for this old beast, but that passenger side would be a cool cutoff piece. So I'm going to go ahead and save it for that. 
I'm having a really hard time getting trucks and I can't get anybody to pick the material up and that sort of stuff so it's kind of pointless for me just to smash everything now it's take too much time to take it all home so I'm going to smash some of it but there's a few of them like this one here I was on the border of whether I would save it or not but I'm going to go ahead and save it now because of all those other reasons check this out that one's going to stay with the farm that old head grew right up in the V of that tree <laughs> that's pretty cool some, here's some big old truck axles back here in the trees too. These aren't actually grown in the tree though like that, that head is. You can see the spark plug is in the tree. I bet that's pretty solid. Oh yeah, it doesn't even budge. Still says, well the Studebaker part's gone, but it still has the champion part and the Studebaker logo in the center. This in here must have got a little hot. And the way it looks, it looks like it burned while it was on its side. So I bet what they did is they rolled it up on its side to pull something out of it and then caught it on fire back here in the trees. I bet that's what happened to it. I'm getting a few keepers down there. Here I'll just put them over there out of the way until I have time to haul them all back. We're making progress down this row. Slowly but surely. Crusher pile grew a little bit. I'm not sure how many cars are there. We're uh, dropping these aluminum drum uh, brakes off of this. These used to be worth a lot of money. They're still worth decent money, but they started repopping them now, so the used ones aren't worth as much. But they're still worth pulling off. That uh, old Starlight, Starlight over there is ready to go. And this thing here is ready. All those ready. You guys have already seen all those. Probably going to throw one of those keepers over there on Sean's trailer. And then, that's what's left of the cars, is those over there. Those are the ones we have to process tomorrow. I'm going to keep most of that back row back there, except for that white one there in the middle. For those old Packards I'm going to take home. There's an old Nash, an old Lincoln. I'm going to take all those home. So we just got to go through the rest of those cars, and then there's some trucks down there on the other side of those trees. And then it's just a matter of crushing cars and hauling the keepers home. I figure there's about... Uh, 23 keepers left to haul home after today so those over there and then there's that back row and there's a few more down there a couple more down there and those over there so I got quite a bit of hauling to get done we'll see when the crusher gets here how rambunctious I feel I may wind up crushing a few of these ones I saved there's a couple of them that were really borderline so we'll see it did a lot of work on this car it's got a Pontiac motor in it got an automatic in it they hop this car up at some point in time it's got bucket seats in it but it's stripped out to nothing now pulling the last few goodies off of it I'm gonna take this one home on his trailer there's nothing left of this car nothing's good at all but I talked myself into it I want to save one of each style of these two-door coupes I want to save this one and then there's one of those wraparound style windows uh, set it back there in the very back by the trees and then both of them are stripped out to nothing there's nothing good left on either one of them but I'm just gonna take them and park them out in the trees at my place just so I can have them just to look at them because they're one of those things that you don't see very often anymore and I'm sure at some point in the future they'll wind up getting crushed anyway but for now that's gonna be their fate is yard art back in the trees Made it back home. This side of the car isn't quite as cool. It's missing a piece of chrome and somebody cut a chunk out of the fender. Doesn't really match. The other side's way better. Fuck this trailer there. We'll unload him first thing in the morning. I talked to my dad when I was on the way home and he said the crusher will be there in the morning. I probably won't do any crushing tomorrow because we're almost done and tomorrow's the last day that Sean can help me. I might be able to talk him into coming back one more time down the road a little bit but not right now. He's got a lot of other stuff he put on hold just to help me so I really appreciate that. It's good to know people like that, you know. But anyway, we'll get the crusher set up, ready to go. That way next week I can start crushing. And that's all for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. And remember to get out there and find an adventure. We'll see you next time.